Hey guys, Banished Designs here with a new tutorial on how to put 3D text on just like a 2D image like this. So as you can see, it looks like the text is on the road. Um, I did a little Photoshop after. You guys can mess around with that if you want. You know, have a little fun with it. See if you can make some new nice color schemes and stuff. So enough about that. Let's get into the tutorial. So first thing you want to do, go to render settings and get all your stuff ready so like your output put your like screen resolution to whatever um your computer screen is anti-aliasing put it on best um get ambient occlusion i only change the contrast on it and put it on 20 also put global illumination on on general turn the gi mode to IR plus QMC still image and for irritants cache put it on low for both so yep yeah, if you guys see that and that's it for the render setting so now what you want to do is double click on the materials box to get a material double click on the material go to texture go to load image Go to the wallpapers where you keep all your stuff, and I'll just pick the autumn background. Looks pretty nice. Press no on this, and also turn off specular so you don't have the little light on top of the image. If you get, like, as you can see, when I put specular, you'll see a little white circle there, and when you take it off, it's not there. So just do that. I don't even think it worked, right? Go to load image. Nope. There. So, like I said, press no on that and turn off specular. Now, what you want to do is go to where the light is, the little picture of the light. Go to background. Then, grab your material, drag it into the background so you have your background ready. Now, what I quickly do is I just make two colors. So, I'm going to do dark gray and orange. So turn the reflection on and put Fresnel, put it at the brightness at 30 and the mixed strength at 40, so a 10 difference, that usually looks fairly good. And I'm just going to get a orange one, just put it at like right there. Same thing, go to reflection, Fresnel, brightness at 30 and mixed strength at 40. So once you've done that, get a plane. So go to the cube right here and get plane. So just drag that down until you have a spot where you like. And on the red arrow, there's a cube right at the end. Just drag that so that you can make a larger plane. Also, now you want, if you render this out, let's see if my computer will render it out quickly or slowly. All right, so as you can see, you're gonna have a like a black plane just sitting there, like and it like my picture that you saw on my desktop. It's got um like right there. See, you got this black box right there, and you want it to match. So what you want to do is go to the background, press on the material, hold Control and drag up, and it'll copy it. I just put that in front. So then right click on the plane, go to Cinema 4D tags and go compositing and tick off compositing background. Now if you render it, I'm not going to do it right now, I'm going to render it with the text. It's going to blend in. Now go to MoGraph text. And so once you do that, just First, just drag it in. So look at the image, like the text, and as you can see right here, it's going under. So you don't want it here, right? Unless you're doing like a mountain, you want it to be behind. So right here, I'm gonna, right about there, what I, I'm just gonna call it tutorial. Put the depth at 50, cause 50 is the, one of the nicer ones. Oh yeah, also, before anything, where it says align, 
it has it on left put it on middle well that didn't work <laughs> just center it out if it doesn't go to the middle depth at 50 because it looks the best so just get a font if you're like to me the most reliable font is bebas because it's really nice and i don't know it's just simple and easy to use because some of them are really difficult to find a good scenery for also if if you can see right now it looks kind of tilted forward just rotate it a bit so i'm gonna put it like right here and then drag the colors on it so put the orange on first and then put the black or the dark gray usually i put dark gray because um, the orange doesn't, like, black is way too dark. So then once you put the dark gray texture on, um, put the selection as C1, capital C and a 1, and that'll actually give it a black front and an orange back. Also, what I like to do for the text, put it on fillet cap or fillet cap, whatever, whatever it's called, I'm not really sure. I put the steps at 5 and the radius at 2 so just do that for both and then I'm just gonna rent uh, before you do that um, if you don't put a light it for me at least it the text will just be black so just grab a light drag that forward and then drag it straight up I usually just stop right above the image like that and, re and then I render it. So I'll see you guys when it's done rendering. Alright. Alright guys, we're back. And so, as you can see, the text looks like it's right on top. And, yeah, so that's basically it. But one quick thing. Once you put light on, click on the light. Go to Shadow. Where it says shadow, go to shadow map soft and put the density at 90. That actually gives it a much nicer shadow and you'll see after the render. I'm going to pause it again quickly because my computer is shit and it's going to take forever. See you guys in a sec. Alright guys, I'm back and as you can see from before with the light, now it's got a more realistic shadow on it. It's lighter, it's not heavily like super dark. You can play around with this depending on the scenery, like as you can see it's really bright so I could actually turn down the shadow a bit here and just so it's much like lighter. As you can see also it's not perfect, you guys can play around with the position, also like mess around with where you put it and start getting a little more advanced with it and putting it in like bumps and stuff. So I'll just give you guys a quick example of what I'm talking about. So. Just go to my pictures and let's see if I can find it. This might take me out oh, right here. So as you can see, you can start playing around with more advanced ones. And just put them on rocks and stuff. I didn't do a speed art for this because, I don't know, I didn't think it looked turn out that great, but it did. So play around with it a bit. Hope you enjoyed the, the tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to please um rate it like give it a like it really helps and subscribe if you haven't my next tutorial will be on how to make a professional background hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day